After a bit of digging around, James discovered there was a Swiss hill climb event on that weekend. And it was only 200 miles from our hotel. Which was fine for some of us. At this speed, six of my 12 cylinders are shut down. They're not using any fuel at all, so I could probably do 400 miles on the fuel I have. Just check on James. Uh, James, are you able to make the hill climb event 200 miles away? Uh, let me just have a look. Uh, yes, I am. Well, how do you know with that fuel gauge? Be oh, I, can't, I can't be bothered. It's not straight, is it? Admit it. Happy piling the motorway miles on your precious cars, are you? Good. Why is there somebody talking to us from a van, James? It's a lorry. Hey, Hammond, I don't know where you are, but there's a really remarkable-looking futuristic car on the back of a truck. Must just be a mock-up, I suppose, otherwise it would be being driven. Yeah, you pile the miles on, enjoy yourself. I don't see what's wrong with this. People don't ride their racehorses to the Grand National, do they? They put them on a lorry. Every weekend, people all over the world load their best toys onto a truck, take them somewhere and enjoy them. Horses, supercars, race cars, rally cars, race bikes, dirt bikes, all of them, it's what you do. Prepare to deploy Smugface at Richard Hammond. After leaving the van driver far behind, James and I arrived at what's almost certainly the most beautiful hill climb event in the world. And the cars weren't bad either. We were keen to get cracking, but first, we had some important business to attend to. Brown food, brown drink, calories. Oh. Mm. I'm actually shaking, I'm so excited. Mm. 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 What? All good for you. Oh, yeah. It's the van driver. Mm. Well, who won't have the energy to drive up the hill? Well, we won't have the energy to drive mm. up the hill. Here I am. Car rested, ready, and fully charged. Oh, Breakfast, good. actual food, brown food. Mm. Yeah. Well, but professional racers do carb load, don't mm. they, before races? No, so you're sort of going. Like all athletes carb load. Yeah, they don't I, lettuce load. As I walked over, I saw you two and thought, athletes. Shut up, Alan. With breakfast demolished, it was time to go hill climbing. But before we did our timed runs, we had to learn the course. Courser. Track mode. Traction control. Off. No, traction control. On. Practicing, Jeremy, practicing. Don't showboat. Must be Hammond. It's a 1.09 mile course. It has 11 corners. And the most important factor in all of this is my ability to concentrate and remember how it goes. Everything good. Creep mode off, suspension low, race mode. We're good. OK, that's a good start. It's a bit wobbly going up here, but oh, lordy lord. Jesus, this one's a bit tight and narrow. <laughs> No idea what I'm doing. No, that's not as tight as I thought. That was a mistake. At least 1,200 horsepower. Bit of brakes. It's no problem. Not looking at the drops. The drops are irrelevant. Balancing it through there nicely. Starting to come together now. This is the long right hander, I think. No, this is the long right hand. It's bloody complicated. Getting on it, getting on it, getting on it. This could go so wrong. 
With the practice session complete, it was time to go against the clock. And for me, this was a problem. Because the rules said that in timed runs, I had to wear a helmet. No. No. Right, well, I can either drive like this with a helmet on, or... What the hell are we going to do? It was time to break out my genius. Lamborghini's got one of their test drivers here. He's about this big. What's your name? Giacomo. Giacomo. Giacomo is the Italian name. Giacomo. 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 Whatever. Don't worry, you look exactly like me. I'll tilt that camera down if you look taller. Be fine with a crash helmet on. Yeah. Curly hair, same as me. <laughs> but you've got to sound like me. All right. So, Hammond, you idiot. Say that, Hammond, you idiot. Hammond, you idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Exactly, because he always is an idiot, so you can always drop that in. It's a useful phrase. Hammond the other one is, this is the fastest car, pause, in the world. This is the fastest car, pause, in the world. Say it. This is the fastest car, pause, in the world. With all that sorted out, James took his place on the start line. This is the big one. Masturbatore grande e criminale e non mi do. There is the tight right hander, so dab and brakes. So I didn't say anything, that was my concentrating face. That's the most I've concentrated for five years. Then it was my turn. time on the score sheet, Hammond had it all to do, and we decided to give him some encouragement. Hammond? Yeah? Really, really big crowds here today, as you can see. Yeah. Okay? Because they know you're going to break the record here. Well, if, 54 gonna... seconds. 54? Well, come on, you're at 1,200 horsepower. You've been practising all morning. Yeah, you, actually, it is the most powerful car here by some margin. <laughs> well, I can't promise well, to... This is the fastest win. car I've ever seen. Look at it this way. The whole of Croatia is watching this, knowing that you're going to do it for them. In 52 seconds' time, you're going to be whatever the equivalent of a hero of the Soviet Union is, but in modern-day Croatia. They'll, they'll have a name not for just him. Croatia. Well, it's no, the whole out. Eastern European region. Yeah. You have got a lot riding on your shoulders, Richard you Hammond. A will lot. Be, you will be on a coin. Thank you, guys. His face will be on a coin. Or a stamp. Oh, I'm quite nervous. I'm suddenly nervous. OK, here we go. Give your best shot, Rich. Yeah. Watch this. There you go. 